Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Dirt Studio Gallery. Thank you for being here and I am going to create a ring pour and warm myself up today. You can tell I've been mixing paint. But I have this painting that is, um, it's kind of cool but I think it needs a ring pour. And I've been watching one of my old videos called Blooper Splooge and I have glasses right there. Oh, that's so awesome. I put them where I can find them. So I wanted to share a couple things with you before we begin. One, we're going to try two different containers to see which works best. And these I get at like the church resale shop where people donate stuff. Um, this is this is a 16 by 20 inch plastic sheet that came off the front panel, the protective panel of 16 by 20 inch canvases from Michael's Artist Loft value packs. So this time, because it's never been easy for me to cut a straight line, as I'm sure it isn't for a bunch of you, um, I used some little little green frog tape and uh, just laid it out as best I could. I eyeballed it. You could probably use a T-square, put your tape down, and it made cutting it really super simple. Um, today's the first day with my new freezer paper covered side panel, so that'll be interesting to see what happens. I don't know why I put that there yet. So we're going to mix up some colors and we're going to use white in between everything. because the white almost always disappears. These are meant to be traveling ring pours. And if I can get the paint to come out of the bottles, I'll be really happy. I don't want to force too much in. Every time you force it in, you will get agitation, which is maybe not the worst thing in the world. And whatever paint I have left, I will use in another artwork that I have planned for next. And I think that this is going to be just fine, except for that white just sunk away. Um, I wanted some pink in there too. I've got three. <laughs> I've got three sprays. That was not pink. That was purple. Okay then. Never mind. So I'm probably going to get a lot of whatever's in there first, which in this case, if it would come out. I thought I checked all my bottles. I even have a handy dandy brand new skewer. I can see that little plug just wants to stay. And I'm going to give it just a little more white and start off with that's an Art Minds Mysterious, I believe, or something very similar to that. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do here. I'm going to leave this for next time. Do I have anything that will cover that? Yeah, that will cover it. Anything to cover the paint, because I don't need that right now. I don't even know why I pulled it out. Gosh, I want something really obnoxious in there, like my green gold. I didn't put any black in there, and maybe I want to start with some white. So let's add some white, just because I can. The name of my book on the Amazon link. All right, so these are supposed to be... traveling ring pours and I think in order to make this work the way I want it to I'm going to have to stop and tilt I'm going to go back and where I was so I can mix some other colors I'm not sure how this is going to work. Here's my edge catcher. I put my paint where I cannot spill it. I'm going to tilt in all kinds of directions. Probably should have put some orange in there because I like the orange. I'm just going to ever so gently let that travel down that way. I may put some paint in here afterwards to uh, to create a line of demarcation or a negative space. I kind of like to use the um, <laughs> the spatula to to re let some of the original painting reemerge. Looks like I used more than enough paint. And I'm wondering what I want to do, if anything, right now. And I have some, is it Prussian blue? Yes. And 
I thought, like I said, I checked my bottles, but evidently I did not. That looks like I could almost pull the top of that off. Oh, that's not coming out. I really want that Prussian blue, too. Well, we'll watch the cells develop over there. I don't use any uh, silicone in any of my artworks. I got that lump out for now, hopefully. Pull some dry paint off the threads of your bottles as you as you see it, because that's what winds up becoming the lumps. All right, so I'm not sure how that's going to go, but I've got paint on my skewer already, and I know the Prussian blue will often sell. So we might as well just paint with what we've got and see what happens. You can probably herd some paint right over in that direction because I can. <laughs> the name of my book on the Amazon link. There are no rules. We're just going to make do with what we've got. And the Prussian Blue is so nice and strong that it will allow me to have a different set of colors because of the depth of tone, as in what you're looking at. Now, if I come in here with a spatula, I could probably swipe some of that out. I think what I want to do, though, is continue to play with and see what happens to what we've got here for right now, and then maybe I can come back and find the paint that I'm looking for, which is something else, but I think that'll work for me right now because I love, I love, love, love my neon multi-surface acrylic from Folk Art, and it might have a chance of staying where it's at. So I'm just giving myself permission again. I don't know what will happen to that with the with the Prussian blue unless I use some white. And I think I've got some white pearl around here. And I know that will probably sell. So the painting was cool. It's gone now. But don't worry. Something interesting will come about. I want some dark magenta pink. And that's magenta red. There it is. I got it. Whoa, that's Floetrol. <laughs> Let me introduce you to an unshaken bottle. I really am craving some gold in there, to tell you the truth. And I like the original orange, and I'm not seeing any more of that, for sure. And I kind of want to tilt ever so briefly. You know what I really want to do, which is really weird, but I've done it before and I'm about to do it again? I'm going to tilt some of this paint off, probably up high, into a puddle. I'm going to smooch it back on. And then in spite of the fact that I'm about to get paint all over myself, I'm going to put it back on the other side, if I can. I didn't leave myself any finger holds. I made a mess. And I'm going to bring back my... <laughs> I still want some gold in there. And I can take any of the paint that's on my edge catcher as long as it's still got some redeeming quality to it. Put that over there. I think it's time to play with the mica powder and see if that's what I really want or not. I've also got balloon stash below me, so if I... Yep. So if I wanted to go that way, I could. You never know right now with me what I'm going to do, because... I was told to change things up, and I don't really think they meant it in the way that I'm interpreting, but that's okay. Whatever works, right? No rules until there's a need to 
I don't know what the end of that sentence was. Never mind. I've got lots of paint. Probably not where it should be. I kind of want some white pearl. I'm going to take my ca caps and put them somewhere else. I don't know that I've tried. I see that thing that does not belong. I tried white pearl and, uh, and gold to see what would happen. I'm sure I'm just going to get tan. I guess I've made enough beaches. So I'm just going to move my move my canvas to the edge, pull some of the paint with the skewer right over the edge, steal some more actually. And just keep manipulating things like I'd like them. I've got cords in my way. The balloons are calling me, I gotta say. And I know that color purple will stay on that white background. I just don't know about the rest of it. The pollen count is horrible, I hear, every day. I'm so glad that I am not super, super susceptible to allergies. It's one reason I wear a head scarf out here. Not just to keep the hair out of the painting, but to keep the allergies from my hair. I might want to cover, I might want to steal some more of that and cover that edge. In this case, with my finger, take it right off the skewer. And if it's not enough, I'll take some more. So, do I have what I want yet? Um, not yet. Not much is left of the original painting, I gotta say, but, um, it might be time for some balloon rolls. And what I've been thinking about these balloon rolls is if I put down the colors that I want to see, you know what's missing? A lot of turquoise is missing. Is that the turquoise I want? Not necessarily. Come out. Yeah, I think turquoise is the ticket. That gold I'm using is uh, the mica powder. I mixed up another gold. Golds can be so different. You know, I think everybody's probably going to have a different favorite gold color. All right, that's my balloon roll spot. I just have to find a balloon to roll. I want to use the little one that most of the air came out of. Who knew? This might wind up a balloon roll. Got pretty, pretty patterns happening from that. That's cool. I want a whole bunch more turquoise. I really want some black back in there. don't really have any yet. So I don't know why I didn't put any more black in there, but that is what's going to happen, so. Let's see what happens when we combine balloon rolls. I'm going to have to wipe it off, even if I don't want to. Black sort of disappeared. Prussian blue stays better. I still kind of want to put some of that green gold in that I was talking about in the beginning. I did not actually expect this to become a balloon roll picture. Ooh, it works nice to cover the side. I'm not sure what you can see. I'm not sure what I'm doing, honestly. But um, it's okay to keep doing it, I think. For the fun of it. Because I can. I 
We've got a few white spaces and that's okay. And the balloon, instead of wiping it off on a paper on the side, works out pretty well to cover the edges. I mean, it's not as fancy as if you're using a gallery of wrap canvas, that is for certain. But it's working for me and I'm not complaining. And let's see if I'm all covered. And I gotta tell you guys, if you shop my Amazon link, you can help me out a little bit. I would appreciate that. And the clothing below the video includes amazing leggings and all over print t-shirts now. I want some of that right there. So I'm just going to use it as a brush. I really want to have some more white right up there. I think it needs it. So I'm going to give myself permission to go ahead and add it. And I'm going to take a moment, since I got 55 whole seconds. <laughs> oh wow, I didn't notice until I said that. What is that thing? Go away thing. So I get to pick and choose where I want my paint, so that's what I'm going to do. And there's not much left of the background, it's, it's true, but uh, I think I'm going to have no complaints when I'm done. I saw that other painting long enough. I've got prints of it. If you like it, let me know. I'll put it on Fine Art America. Alright, so as much as I love that white, I want some little bit of waggly drama back. There's my waggly drama. And if I want more of that, yes, I have two minutes left to tell you guys. If you give me a thumbs up, it might help me. I could use a little plug and cat. Um, if you watch more videos, it might help me. If you're looking for more videos, you can find them on my channel. Look at, don't look at playlists, look at videos. If you do look at playlists, look at, um, they're by the hundreds, categorized, and also by their description, by, uh, by, by their genre sort of thing. I'm pretty happy with this. I didn't add any more red anywhere, and maybe that's what's missing. So I love you guys. There's over 80,000 of you. There's almost 81,000 of you, but it's slow going because my my subscribers are not being my potential subscribers are not being allowed to see me right now. So I don't know what the deal is with that. Maybe just a little tiny bit of red over here and I'm going to call it good and then I'm going to torch. And I love the balloon rolls. I really do. They made really nice patterns. I got some extra paint left. I am going to torch to release the bubbles in the paint. I'm going to look and make sure that I see everything I might want to see right here. Yeah, I'm just going to change that just a little bit. Actually, I'm going to cover that right up. And then I'm going to bring it back again because it was a good negative space. I'm holding a torch and skewering paint. I'm going to throw that balloon into my water bucket and maybe the wind won't take it. I kind of like it when the paint comes out slow because it means I can like put it where I want it. I'm pretty sure I'm done. <laughs> that timer is going to go off and I'm not going to have told you that you can find Facebook groups for students, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group and uh, Expressionist Art Studio Fans and Collectors for Fans and Collectors and Pinterest and Instagram and Twitter links underneath my video, underneath the description. You can find PayPal and Patreon and my email address to use for Zelly if you want to make a $10 donation to help keep me painting. I appreciate all the help I can get and all, all the help I've had. So thank you so much in advance in case you decide to do that. I will send you confirmation if you become part of this month's drawing. And there is a drawing every month and i got to remember not to stick my skewer in. That, I like that better though. As long as the paint is heavy, you might still s survive a moment of indiscretion like I am, where you stick your skewer into partially warmed paint. So this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Art Studio Gallery saying, don't forget I have a book called Because I Can and we're trying to come out with another one for Christmas. We'll see what happens. Cross your fingers that I make the time to, to get to editing. My editor sends her regards. I'm going to see what you guys can see. I think I've... I don't think I ruined anything. <laughs> Which is always comforting.